Do it. Nothing, right? Hey guys, I'm Patrick Jones for Ladders. Today I'm here with travel expert and travel host, Brad Stewart, who has been outside of the United States 88 days this year in how many countries? Uh, 15. Ah! Do you have any tips about how to travel cheaper? Everyone asks that question, like, how, what's the trick? What's the little thing that I need to do? Well, yeah. the answer is, is that I am ultra flexible with the way that I plan on my travel. Okay. That's my number one rule. So there's a lot of travel sites or vlogs and stuff that say, if you leave a day early and return a day or two later, you could save hundreds of dollars. And I take that idea and I multiply it by a thousand. Okay. So if you're attached to going to Paris, I say don't be. What you're attached is to going somewhere that excites you. If I start looking and I say, great, I really want to go to Tokyo, well, that's $1,200 for the flight, and then I see Hong Kong 650, you're probably not going to have twice as good of a time in Tokyo, and you're going to find something wonderful in Hong Kong. So for me, that decision makes itself. It's, a, it's an intense mental, um, I haven't eaten anything I just eat so much. I had uh, another friend that was like, man, he travels as much as he can, but he's like, it's so expensive, it's really prohibitively so. But I found out that he was staying in $250, $300 a night hotels all over the oh, world. Oh my God. Uh, and it was kind of like, well, isn't that what you do and I used to on some level feel that way as well but there are some very nice inexpensive hostels and the whole hostel community has really upped their game it is has become competitive and people have responded in kind as well as buses and a lot of times if you want to fly from different parts and you're in the same country I got like a $35 flight from Bogota to Medellin and is that like, too cheap <laughs> is, is, there a certain, is there a certain thing where it's like they're cost cutting too much? All right, so flights do freak people out, and yeah. on that flight they did steal my camera. Uh, this is bad. So while you're there, you host your own travel show. Uh, what inspired that? I could probably ruminate on this for hours, but it's something that I knew that I wanted to do, mm -hmm. so I thought I would dive in headfirst. Can you speak a little bit to pushing yourself outside your comfort zone, like how that's changed you, how that's affected you? I don't want to be that guy that says that that travel has completely changed my life, but it totally okay. has. <laughs> I call it being an active player in my own life, and I'm throwing up as I'm saying yeah, that. Yeah, it sounds bad, but there is I'm a goodness to it. throwing up as I'm I saying No, I want to die inside <laughs> hearing him say that. By making that sort of decision, it's helped me execute other things in my life. So, my comedy has gotten better, my work relationships have gotten better. Better and not worse, right? A lot of people think that must be a real strain on your work. I've grown a lot, right? And you want yeah. someone that's come on the other side of that growth to do whatever, whatever your job may be. This is something else.